Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be doing another empties video. I have a huge lot of products to go through. I kind of let it go a little bit crazy this time because I haven't had the time to film an empties video. So yeah, let's get into it because there's a lot of products here. So the first ones I'm just going to take off the top of the most recent things that have been put in there. And it's two tins of the Sinful Moments Dry Shampoo by Superdrugs. This is my favourite dry shampoo, it's a, at the moment it's like a pound, so a pound is fantastic, but I think it's originally like two pounds normally, or it's always buy one get one half price, so it's a decent price basically for a dry shampoo, it's not like white cast all over the hair, I've spoken about this a lot, I go through this stuff ridiculously quick, because I use it so much, and it's just my favourite one, the, this one they changed the packaging a lot, but it's always the one with the pink lid. Another dry shampoo, and I'm kind of gutted this one has been finished, it's the Lee Stafford Dry Shampoo Original for Oily Roots. It's just the mini one, this is basically for when I am out and about, I always like to keep a dry shampoo in my handbag just to refresh my hair. You never know if you're going to stay around a friend's house or what's going to go on, so I always like to keep one of these in my bag. For £2 they are a little bit pricey but it's the best mini dry shampoo that I've found. Something really boring but an essential Detol wipes. I picked these up from the pound shop, they're literally a pound. You get 36 in them and I use these for like my makeup counter and everything. I will get a lot of makeup on my makeup counter, okay? I'm really messy. And these just kill everything. So yeah, it's great. It keeps all like obviously my makeup area clean and sanitised and it also just means I'm not going to get any like nasty bacteria or anything. Something that I recently just finished and I actually can talk about, I'm going to be doing a review on this soon. It's the Blanks White Shock Formula Toothpaste. I am actually doing a review soon on the toothpaste, the mouthwash and the whitening treatments. So stay tuned for that on my blog. But this is basically just a whitening toothpaste. It's meant to be that once you put it on, every time that you smile, it's meant to make your teeth whiter. I'm pretty sure that's like the concept behind it, but there's nothing really on here to say that. But... I'm pretty sure that this is the one where you, where you smile, your teeth whiten. I don't know if that's true, like, yeah, I feel like my teeth are a little bit white, but I don't know if it's, like, ridiculously true that they whiten as you smile. But it's a good toothpaste, and it leaves your mouth minty fresh. The next thing I know, like, I'm going to use a lot more again and again, like, I've already bought another packet of these, and it's the West Labs... Epsom salts, these are for soothing and detoxifying skin and it helps relax tired, stiff, achy muscles. I've decided that this year, like coming next week, I am like working out like crazy. I'm going to work out, eat right and everything like that. And these are a lifesaver when you've worked out, especially when you do the 30 day shred and your back kills. Pop a load of these in your bath, a hot bath, let them dissolve before you run the rest of your bath and it's great. You can pick these up in Home Bargains for £2.50, so if you want them but you don't want to have that expensive price tag, because they are expensive, Home Bargains, £2.50. So, another tin of dry shampoo, don't really need to talk about that, but that's three tins of the Sinful Dry Shampoo by Superdrug. We have a Provark Tosha Silver Twice a Week Day Brightening Shampoo. This is a purple shampoo, obviously I have blonde in my hair. My hair is a lot darker than it used to be when I used to use purple shampoos. But I always use this like every now and then just to refresh my hair. So when I'm looking at my hair I'm thinking, oh it's looking a little bit dark right now. I'll pop this on because it's basically, it just helps bring the brightness out of my blonde highlights and make my hair look a little bit more blonde and less brown looking. I have another bath product and it's the Shampoo Spa Indulgence Distant Shores Bubble Heaven. This stuff was amazing. Oh, I've just put it on my lips. Yuck. Ugh. Didn't realise that was still wet. Gross. Um, it smells great, but I don't think it's going to taste great. So yeah, this is just like a bubble bath, but it's like a gel. And you don't like, you basically just open it up. You can even pour it out if you wanted to, but I find that you pour way too much out. What I do is I grab a massive scoop of it and I just like put my hand under the water and let it run under the water. And it creates really great bubbles. They're really like soft bubbles. They're not like, um, it's hard to describe, but they're just like really soft lovely bubbles instead of like the overload of bubbles it's just like nice to use like when you want to relax and just have a little bit of bubble talking about bubbles we have another bath soak sort of thing this is the muscle soak by radox and i haven't bought one of these in ages so this has been in here for a very long time i'm not that keen on the smell to be honest i find that these smell very manly for me it's got sage in it and sea minerals but i find that the muscle soak ones are very manly smelling and that's just not me 
But it was great, it did help with my muscles and everything like that when I was working out loads and hurt, I hurt my back and stuff like that. I just, I prefer the relaxed one because the smell is a great, like it's just amazing, the relaxed one. And you can pick these up for like a pound, so they're like really worth it. Something that I always rave about and it is the Be Pure Micellar Water. I've gone through tubes and tubes of this stuff and it's ridiculously cheap. I always pick it up when it's on offer, it's normally about like £2, something like that on offer. And it lasts ages, I've already got another one on the go and I find that it really removes like my mascara really well. I wouldn't use it to like remove my whole makeup, like I just, I'm not really a fan of my cells for the whole of the face but to remove any unwanted eye makeup so when you've kind of um, gone overboard on the eyeliner like I did today so I had to sort all that out or when you like want to remove mascara but your cleanser's just not removing it as well, this is great. And I've just seen on the back that it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Something that I've been trying to use up for ages and I managed to use it up a little while ago and it's the Garnier Ultimate Blends, the Nourishing Repairer Conditioner. I actually think I have another one of these in my cupboard, um, I just haven't bought the shampoo in a while. It is the, it basically it's for very dry damaged hair and it's a great conditioner. This is what got me onto the like Ultimate Blends range. And they're really great. If you buy them on offer, this 400ml bowl is like £2 when they're on offer. And I personally think this is great if you have dark, dry, damaged hair. It really does help. It's got like avocado oil in it. It's got shea butter and everything. It's a really great product. And it's really cheap as well. And I have the shampoo to go with that. I didn't realise I used this one up as well. Um, I like the shampoo. I just find if you use too much, your hair gets a little bit greasy. So it's very like um, hit and miss. And I find that the cap of the shampoo like the actual hole that comes out of it is way too big so you end up wasting product as well so yeah uh, i think they need to redesign the packaging a little bit but it is a great product all in all oh god we have another two sinful dry shampoos oh my i don't like but seriously this is five tins of this stuff now this just shows how much i love it i go through this so so much like i think this is the most i've ever had like in once like obviously i think my last one i had maybe three five is a bit much so yeah hopefully there is no more at the bottom of this box because that's just getting ridiculous i have a shower gel it actually has a little bit left in it but i always find with this packaging you can't get it all out and it's the original source lime and tea tree um no it's lemon it's lemon it's not lime it's the lemon and tea tree scent not lime okay anyway <laughs> um this is really good. I I don't know if I like this smell that much. Let me. I would um, yeah. I found it smell a little bit like lemon curd, and I don't like lemon curd that much. But I love the original source dry like the shower gels. Um, I think they're great. They're vegan, everything like that. They're really good for you. Like um, they don't test on animals. They test on themselves, and I think that's a really great like thing for a brand to so not test on animals, especially when it comes to, like a skincare brand and you know that, that it's not going to react on your skin because they've tested it on their own and they're always like a pound on offer and I always buy like loads of different scents for them as well and I think I may have to do like an appreciation post soon on this because I always have at least one in my shower and I love, I just love this stuff. We have a perfume which is very odd because I never have perfume like finished and this is the so question marked internal like Infernal? I don't know, it's um, I think it's internal, but basically it's the perfume. I was given this at an event like last year, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, so fragrance was like one of those things that we all had as like kids and everything, and like it was cheap, and I so like we all used it, but I I don't like it now. I basically have another one on the go, and you're gonna laugh when I tell you what I use these for. I use these as air fresheners. So when I run out of air freshener and I want to like freshen up my room a little bit and make it look smell a bit nicer, I spray one of these, which is like ridiculous because obviously it's an expensive air freshener, but I was given them at an event, so it's kind of justified. We have another product for the Ultimate Blends, like Nourishing Repair range, and this is the One Minute like Mask. These are fantastic. The One Minute Treatment Masks are great, especially when you get really dry ends. You just chuck this on, you don't even have like a minute, it's so conditioning that it takes like literally seconds and you just wash it off and you're done and your hair feels great and I just, I actually sometimes replace this then and use this instead of conditioner, I love this more than conditioner and it's just a great product so yeah 
if you're gonna try the Ultimate Blends range, I definitely recommend getting one of the one minute masks, I think they're fantastic. We have two things left in this thing, one is a cap to one of the dry shampoos, we don't care about that, and then the other thing is the Blistex Medi Plus Lip Balm. This, you're not actually going to see anything because it's like totally empty, but this is my favourite lip balm. I actually always, once I run out, I go and buy a new one because it's my favourite. I find it's the only thing that really helps with my lips, in the, especially in the winter when they get really, really dry. And it's just a great little lip balm. It's something that I keep at home. I don't take this out and about with me because it's a pot. And I find that dipping your finger in anything is just not hygienic. So that is the end of the empties video. My little box is now empty. I just smacked myself in the face. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I like doing these empties videos because they're like little mini reviews of things. And it reminds me of like what I actually like. So basically, we all know I like the dry shampoo because I have five tubes of it. But it's quite nice and it kind of reminds you of what you've used up as well. Like, I didn't even realise that I'd used these up. I thought I'd like thrown these away a very long time ago. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button. Because I think we're going to get closer and closer to 4,000 subscribers. And when we do, I'm going to have to do a giveaway. Because it's a big number for me. And it's taken me a while to get there. And when I do, I'm just going to have to celebrate and do a giveaway, aren't I? So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye!